Hello. I know, long time no see, but I have an unboxing today and it's like a ball jointed doll and I never had one before, so like I wanted to share the experience of unboxing this. And also like I don't know if it's broken or not because it's shipped from overseas and yeah. I hope everything's fine. So here's the box. Uh, the doll I got is um, a TD doll and it's uh, Junxian. I, I can't say that but yes, you can look at that. Also, I got this doll on the 23rd and it's now the 29th and it's already here. So like amazing shipping from Taobao and they only charge like, I think like maybe $20 shipping. However, the taxes were expensive because like Australian import tax. Let me take the cover off and then I'll film again. Uh, I got the whole set with all the clothing, the wigs, the body and the face up because I can't be bothered getting it to another like artist to get the face up done. So I just got the full set and like I swear no one else does that. I did it because like it's in stock and yeah. I couldn't be bothered doing stuff. What is this? Um, okay, I'm already having trouble. I'll be back. So first I'm gonna open the letter with the birth certificate because that is what other people do when they receive their doll. And like, I've already seen unboxings of um, dolls by this company and I really like the letter, the packaging. It looks really fancy. And like, I'm really new to the doll world, I guess. So, I don't know the packaging of like other companies that well, but, but yeah. Here's the birth certificate, if I can get it open. So, that's what the official makeup looks like with the wig and the clothing. So, those of you in the doll world or familiar with it would know that like most male dolls comes with the five piece set and I did not know that. If I show these, I'm gonna be demonetized even though I'm not even monetized in the first place, but these are giant. I, I don't know why, but... So these are the shoes, the boots. I guess they're pretty nice. Um, the eyes are here and they also give... Are those gloves or something? I don't know. And also a hook, S hook. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yes. Um, this brush, comb, that is literally trying to murder me. And I don't know what this is. Oh, that, that's like the magic eraser. Okay. Um, here's the clothing. There's also a chain for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, this is the wig, I'm assuming. I can't tell. Um, this is another wig, for some reason. Maybe that wasn't a wig. And here is the actual doll. Oh, there's actually another package. That is some tack for the eyes and also an eraser. I don't know how to open this and like, film with only my hands. I have a tripod, but like, I can't be bothered using it. So I'm like, holding everything and opening it with one hand. Oh no! Did the, did the cover shift? I don't know. Oh my god. I know this is weird, but like, I've never touched, like, a bowl jointed doll before, and like, it feels weird. And also, yeah, it smells like death. Like, it smells like paint or like varnish, which I know is toxic. And I'm probably not supposed to smell it. Okay, so I got the doll to sit up and it's actually gotten pretty hot because I'm in Australia and you know Australian summer is like really warm which is probably not good for the doll and also this is like I already heard this but TD dolls the, the joints are really squeaky and like I'm already hearing it <laughs> so yeah let me take these off. Okay, look at the details on a handle. It's actually really cool. If my camera would focus. 
and the lighting is not great. Like, I know usually you're supposed to check for flaws and stuff so you can get it returned or tell the, uh, tell the company or the factory so you can get it repaired or replaced. But honestly, I paid $20 for shipping. I'm not complaining. Okay, I cut myself off, but like if I returned it, it would take me way more money to return it. And then, yeah, it would be just so annoying to get it shipped again and get the parts replaced. And usually with bow jointed dolls, it's not like, oh, you can order it and get it in a week. It's like, you need to wait half a year or longer to get a doll in stock. Literally sweating from like the weather and excitement so like I don't want to touch the doll too much because water and dolls they don't mix but I don't know if you can see but the face up is pretty good in my opinion I mean it's my first doll I don't really know much about it but honestly I don't want a face up that is too dramatic and this is pretty good in my opinion so I'm just going to unbox the clothing as well. So the doll is a TD72 Uncle Body apparently. And what what is this? Is this the necklace or shoelace or something? I am confused. Like I said, I'm really new in the doll world, literally. I I got into this world literally maybe two days before I ordered it. So I know the very basics, but as you can tell, no one buys the full set, and I did, and that really tells how like I'm this, I'm like a beginner, and I don't really care. What are these? Are these pants? Oh, holy cow! Sheep, dog. I think you are supposed to lace the pants together. I will have to figure that out. So he comes with a hoodie which is white and has red stripes. Honestly, I was not a fan of the design, but you know, he's, he was in stock and I have more clothes coming and he's my first doll, so more parts. Ideally, I wanted a tan version of the Garyon dolls, I assume. I don't think I'm saying any of it right, but yeah, that, that was like one of the first dolls I fell in love with, but those are expensive. Those are like, I don't know, those are like a thousand dollars without including all the taxes and shipping. And like, the weird thing with Zoom is that they only put out specific dolls in specific skin colors like once every few years. And it's really hard to get like your ideal one. Anyways, basically it was way too expensive so I did not get that doll, but I still want him one day, maybe when I'm rich. Uh, this is a wig. I'll have to figure out how to put it on and how to style it. And I actually wanted to order a different wig as well, because from what I know, just changing the clothes, the eye and the wig can like pretty much change your whole entire doll into a different doll. Uh, there is another wig for some reason, I'm a bit confused. I think the artist in that store uh, already gave it a different face up, so it came with the original wig and also the wig that the artist liked. So I'm gonna go with the lighter one because from what I've read, these dolls, they can stain pretty easily and then my wig cap is on the way, it's not here yet. And also like, the pants and the shoes are black so I'm gonna be really careful and only put them on for maybe like 10 minutes and then I'll take it off until I get a stain proof suit for the doll and or when I get um, clothing that's white and will not stain the doll. I just realized they came with gloves which I should have been using the whole time and I'll see if they fit me. If it fits then I'll put it on. Surprise it fits. It's really stretchy so yeah and I'm feeling like a hundred percent safer now just touching it. Um, also, it came with a wig cap. I don't know why, but now I don't have to buy one. Um, they gave more eyelashes, I guess, in case if I wanted to redo the face up because you are supposed to do it every six months to a year. This is one set of the eyes that the doll came with. I can't 
remember if these are the original or the artist gave them. I think this one is from the artist. Um, it's not focusing, but I think these ones are the original eyes that I get with the body. So not from the artist that I got the doll from. Um, I think we'll just ignore the five piece set. If we really want to see it, then I'll probably have like a private video showing it, but let's not. So because I got an in-stock doll, it's not really the body color or body type I preferred it to be. I mean, the body type, it works. It's a 72, but as you can see, the head is a bit smaller. So ideally it would have gone with a 68. But, you know, who cares? You put clothes on it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just got some ribbon because I heard it can help with removing the head. So, in the end, I got a stand so I can actually, like, do this without having to film, you know? Which might be easier. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, firstly, I might try taking the head off so I can put the clothes on easier. So, firstly, you remove the skull. I am freaking scared. I am pretty sure I wasn't supposed to do that because if I wasn't careful, I would have chipped off the face. Okay, let me put the face somewhere safe. As you can see, there's a hook in here, inside the skull. And usually I see people using a ribbon and then they put it inside the S hook. This is somehow really hard for me to do. I have no idea why. Probably because I have no experience at all. So they pull it up. They pull up the hook. This is surprisingly hard. And then they twist it. And then, ta-da, it comes out. Here is the skull. Um, here's the metal plate to show that it's an official doll. Let me put that somewhere safe as well. And here we have a very nice ribbon and this is your spine. Um, when you take a human's head off, their spine also looks like this, I believe. But, okay. I know all of you watching are probably really frustrated because I'm so slow, but like, this is my first doll and like, if anything happens to it, I'm gonna cry. So like, I am trying to be really, really careful. So I'm taking it really slowly. Oh my god, I'm getting warm from just like, watching this clothing going on. Like, it's like 40 degrees today in Australia. Well, specifically where I live. So that is not ideal for filming in a room with no aircon and doll unboxing or doll shipping because like, they are sensitive to sunlight and they're warm. And yes, I still keep Nendos and they're probably gonna melt in the Australian heat. So, one like equals one prayer for my Nendos. Yes, please do that. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh my god, what did I do? Don't tell me. No. Okay, I thought it got stuck in the hook and I almost cried. Like, I'm literally scared to touch a doll. This is why I'm doing it so slowly. Because I never handled one before. I don't know how fragile they are. And like, from what I heard, they're really fragile, but like, not as fragile as you think. But I'm still being really careful. So, like I said, they gave two sets of eyes, and um, I don't know, I might go with the blue ones. I don't know if they're blue, I'm colorblind. Because that's what the artist chose, so I'm assuming this looks good. Or maybe it's just a random gift, I don't know. If not, then I'll try the other ones. Also, I decided to do the head first because like I said, I don't have any protective clothing. So, like, I'm gonna have to take the shoes off probably right after I put them on. So, I don't stain them, stain the body. So yeah. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to put the staining parts on last so the body can be safer. So, yes. Uh, I don't think it's focusing, but like, I don't know if you can see, but the eyes, if you shift them, they kind of have a special effect, and it's pretty cool. Okay, I took my gloves off, and I'm just gonna be super careful. I don't know if you guys can see, but I think the original eye might fit the doll better, because the other one, the pupil, is way too big. 
So here is the free gift eye. It's not focusing and I don't know what to do. But yeah, I think the pupil's way too big. So I know the eyeball placement is not great, but you know, who cares? Uh, and I was saying the pupil, but I'm pretty sure I meant the iris, so like, the coloured part, so yeah. So I am actually going to put the head back on, because I got the, uh, the, what is this called, the jumper on already, so it should be fine. I'm using a ribbon again to help me lift it. Oh my god. It is like, surprisingly hard to lift. Is this even humanly possible? I'm like really scared as well because I don't want to damage it. I don't know what it's called, but like sometimes the elastic gets too loose and people have to change it. And then they always say that is like a really hard part of like the hobby because you need so much strength, especially for a big doll. And I think I finally know what they're talking about because like I literally cannot get this hoop up. <sighs> oh my god, I finally got it on. Basically, I used force and then like I had to go look up a tutorial to make sure that like I wasn't breaking the doll pretty much. And also, I realized this might be the really handy tool that they gave to help, like, put the hook on and off. Like, you literally do this and turn it, and then I, like, I literally just thought of it, but, you know, next time I'll know. Well, now I am going to try to put the face back on carefully. Yep, I got the face back on. Now the wig cap. I'm hoping that I can do this right in one shot. I don't know if it's in the right position, but you know, who cares? No one knows how to put on wigs. Totally. Uh, and then here, here is a rat. Uh, I mean the wig. Uh, I know I watched the tutorial, but I still don't know how to do it, so I'm basically just going to put it on and then pull the back. <laughs> I don't think this is right, I'll be back. 